Hey, welcome to the Star I'm Mr. Marshall, and I got Susanna here. Susanna, what did you create? So this is the MF inversion, and it's basically a box wing design. Box wing design box craziness. Wing. There's like airfoils going everywhere. Mm -hmm. So um, first off, what made you want to do something like this? So I wanted to do something like this because I was. Um, watching like a video about planes of the future and they had this cool animation of a plane that was like this and I wanted to try it out and see what it how it worked. And there's nothing that we had in the past in our library of planes that you were able to really um, use. You created Not all really. this from scratch, which is just <laughs> insane. Um, how many prototypes did you have to uh, get to where you are right now? I mean this is technically a prototype. Yeah. But this is the first one that we're actually going to fly, and I have one more version that I've built in the back. Okay. And so what, based off of this one, if you're you know, going to go finalize it, what do you have to do with, with this to make it final? So I'm going to be making this line up a little better. Okay. And, and I'm bringing these wings in just a bit. And, well, that's basically it. There's okay. not a whole lot. Um, control surfaces, what, what, what do you got for control surfaces? So we've got ailerons here, and there's a rudder in the back, and then elevators. And just in the um, tail the section. Wings, yeah. We are not sure how big of elevators we should make, um, but we figure with this thing, just a little bit of tail action to keep it stable um, is what we're going to try to shoot for. Mm -hmm. When we tried to do the CG, that was crazy too. We figured it's almost like right smack dab in the front here, going all the way across. Yeah. And make sure it's a little nose heavy before we go fly, just in case. Um, you got some oversized ailerons, and like you said, with your rudder to hopefully control it flight if we don't have any control. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty impressive, man. And how long did you work on the drawings? Um, I think... I like started drawing it in like November ish. Um, so so that's a while. A couple months? Yeah. Crazy. And did you use um, the FT STEM design brief to work yeah, this out? I did. It was actually it was actually pretty helpful. I really like it. Cool. And so you got all your cool designs and plans in there too, so that people mm -hmm. can eventually see what how you know how you got to this crazy stage. Of course. Awesome. Um, well we're gonna go uh, take this thing out and test it. And um, being a new plane, we have no idea what it's going to do, so we're going to have to make sure we're safe. Um, but I wish you all luck, and um, hopefully this will be something that just cruises out of our hands. How am I going to throw this thing? Oh, you have something on the bottom. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully this thing just glides out of our hands, and we'll be able to use this to just putter around with. Um, we're using, um, this is a big plane. This has got... Uh, how many foam boards did we go through to get this? Uh, I think five. Five? Mm -hmm. um, and so we're using a super mega jet with a bigger prop on it. Um, we don't have anything else in stock that we have to, to run something as, of this size. We're not even sure if the motor placement, honestly, is, is where we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, we have thought about putting it behind, we have thought about putting it up front. Um, this just seemed to be the best case scenario for, for your situation and hopefully it all works out. Let's go try it. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Trial two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All righty then. Okay. <laughs> Experimental plane, trial number four. Experimental plane, trial number five. 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 Here we go. We have, we have grass on the surface. Wait, take the. Wait, wait, wait. wait there's a watch. Grass in the surface. Wait, what is it? Oh. Experimental plane. Number five. Business. Can I fly this? Oh, you want to be no. Is that a battery? What? You don't know how to fly. It's <laughs> it's I'm going to try to calm down. Because it might just be that having those oh, buttons on back. Oh, I flew um, another one. It's going to be really, really fun. Okay, then I'm going to go. Yeah. It's a battery. Yes, it is. 60%. Pick. 60%. Pick six. I will never go. Get him, boy! Just keep going. Look how they're barely even standing. Yeah, I know, but they're so far up, so that I know. as soon as that moves a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Sterling. Come on. Screw middle plane. Oh. Round number six. Oh, shot. It's up. It's up. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's down. No, no. Just let him try. All right, Susanna, well, we didn't have a chance for you to fly it, um, but this is a great learning opportunity for us to see what we can do next. Um, what were your initial thoughts of what you might want to try with it? Uh, well, I was thinking of maybe moving the elevator out so that it's above the, um, the ailerons and getting rid of the rudder because I don't think we need those, but we're not quite sure what to do with it. Yeah, I was going to try to mix them, but we already had the elevators hooked on two different servos. Um, so that part didn't really work out because we had the servos wrapped around. So we were, we were going to try to do is Elevon mixing and have both these control surfaces work together with these to see what would happen. I'm just, this isn't a whole, a whole new ball game that I'm not familiar with. Um, and uh, to have her spend months and months and months to keep trial and error, maybe that's what you're going to have to do. <laughs> uh, but we don't have months and months and months. So if any guys out there that have seen something like this before or have done something similar to this before or have any suggestions for us to try, uh, for Susanna to try to uh, do for her next uh, printout, uh, let us know so that we can apply it on that and so she can give us a better shot for next time. You guys are going to be a part of this project just as much as uh, the, the kids in the class is. So um, any last words? Uh, no. It was fun though. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Well, anyways, help us out and uh, thanks for watching.